Hi everyone, welcome back. I am here again for another hour of classes and this time it's time for that series that I do every week. Yay! It's time to explore a different metropolitan city and talk about if we've been there, what we loved, what we didn't love, whether we go back again. Um, and let's learn some interesting facts about uh, our metropolitan city for the day, which today is Venice, Italy. Okay? In the last, we've done cities that I myself have traveled to. So we've covered, we covered London, we covered um, Toronto, and then I think we covered a city nice. in the States. Paris, yes, we covered Paris. So I have actually been to all of these, all those cities. I have not been to Venice. So I feel like you guys have an excellent opportunity to tell me about what I am missing out by not going to Venice. All right? Um, so we have somebody in class with us, Blanca. She has actually been to Venice. Uh, I'm not sure if she'll be able to join because she says she's in the office, but she has, uh, she has sent me a picture of herself in Venice, and I would love to share that with you guys. If there's anybody else who's watching or who will be joining the class who has traveled to Venice, I would love to hear your stories, and if you have pictures or souvenirs that you'd like to share with us, definitely, definitely do that, all right? So right now in class, we have with us Carolina. Hi, Carolina. Nice to see you Hi. again. Hi. Yesterday was Carolina's first time on Verbling, and I'm so happy to see her back. Yay. <laughs> and David. I didn't David, have any option. You didn't have any option? yesterday. You're like, T -t 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 -t. I, need, I need my dosage of Verbling now. <laughs> <laughs> That's, and we also have Abdullah. Abdullah, welcome back. Hi. Nice How to see you, you again. Nice I'm to fine, see thank you. That's awesome. So David has told me, oh, there's 35 seconds left. So all the students who are watching who don't have reservations, uh, the spots should open up for you now. I guess they've opened up since everybody is, has flooded into the class. That's awesome. Um, and our class is full. Oh, David, our class is full. Oh, David has pictures and he's been to Venice. Okay, David, don't go anywhere. If somebody happens to leave, uh, leave the classroom, then you have you will have the opportunity to get in. All right. Um, all right. So let's see. We have Amin. Welcome, Amin. Is your microphone working now? Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Welcome, Amin. Really nice to have uh, you join us. Finally. Yeah, yeah. What happened? Your microphone wasn't working in the earlier class. Actually, I don't know what happened, but uh, my verb blank chat wasn't work, and my microphone there was some problems. Okay. Well, I'm glad you you had it sorted out, and you're you're in class with us now. Okay. So let's start. Our class is full. All right. So welcome everyone. My name is Hannah. I'm going to be your teacher for this hour, and we are going to be learning about uh, the beautiful city in Italy called Venice. Okay. Calvin, you muted me. Calvin, <gasps> let's say where where is the eject eject now? <laughs> Don't mute me, guys. Mute yourselves. All right. Um, <laughs> all right. So um, so we are going to be uh, learning a little bit more about Venice. If there are people who have been to Venice, definitely, definitely share your stories with us. Um, I have, an, I have a document with me that has some interesting facts about Venice, so we'll, we'll be reading that and learning some new things as well. Okay, uh, But for the most part, this is a speaking class, so we're going to be sharing our opinions, what do we know, what don't we know uh, about this, uh, this, beautiful, this beautiful city of canals in, uh, in, in Europe. So let's start. Uh, let's introduce ourselves. Let's say our name. Let's say where we're from. And let's say whether or not we've been to Venice or if we've been to Italy. Okay? So I'll begin. Welcome, everyone. My name is Hina. I am your teacher. I am in San Francisco right now, but I'm originally from Canada. And I, unfortunately, have not been to Italy either. So I've, I've actually just been to France and, and Britain and uh, in Europe, not Italy. Next on my list of places to go to. Okay? So let's start with Abdullah. 
Um, hi, my name is Abdullah. I'm, I live in Germany, and, but I'm originally from Turkey, and I have never been to Italy. Okay, you and I both. It's okay. Don't feel bad. Yeah. <laughs> both even of us. If I, even if I live in uh, Europe, I have never been to Italy. <laughs> really? Unfortunately. You, yeah, that's unfortunately okay. not. That's yeah. okay. I hope after this class, all those who live in Europe and have never been to Venice now have really, really good incentive to go. So, next thing I want to hear is like, I booked my trip to Venice. All right. Next, we have Amin. Hi, everyone. My name is Amin from Saudi Arabia, and I've never been in Europe. You've never been to Europe. Okay. All right. Thanks, Amin. Uh, next, we have Christian. Hi. Hi, my name is Christian. I am from Bogota, and I don't know a lot of things about uh, Venice, mm -hmm. but I like Italy. You like? Mm. Have you have yes. you been have you been to Italy though? Uh, no, 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 never. Okay, yes. Christian, I feel like I've seen you in the chat box in my classes several times. Is that you? Uh, I don't know. Maybe okay. uh, sometimes I I um, I can um, enter to the class and just uh, see the class. And okay. No. But, but you're not <laughs> yes. you're not new. But you're not new on Burbling. You've you've been here for a while, uh, right? Um, yes. 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 Okay. Awesome. I think this is the first time you're in my class. So welcome. Really nice to have you join us. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Next we have David. David, you're muted. Unmute yourself. <laughs> uh, hi, I'm David uh, from Barcelona, Spain. And I didn't been to Italy, but I have some souvenirs from my family. Oh, okay. So you, you've, been, you've been to Italy then? Uh, no, my no? family. Your family? Oh. Man, if I had family in Europe, I'd tell them I love them so much and I miss them so much and I want to come visit them every year. <laughs> if I had family in Europe and you have family in Italy and you've not visited them. Not making proper use of family, David. <laughs> okay, now, now you well, have to go. <laughs> well, uh, it was my grandfather, grandparents, so okay. I, must, I must tell well. My grandmother calls my grandfather. Oh, okay. So, so, so now you have incentive to go and visit. And what part of Italy do they do they live in? In Venice. They live in Venice. That's awesome. Oh, that's so great. So, I um, I hope I hope you get an opportunity to go soon. Thanks, David. <laughs> uh, next we have Imad. Yeah, I'm Imad from Syria. Okay, Imad, your internet connection is really bad. You're like breaking in and out. It's hard to hear what you're saying. I'm just letting you know. So if you can, like, if you want to fix it, okay, I'll try. Now, now. I'll try to fix it. Okay. Yeah. okay, perfect. Thanks, Imad. Next, we have Ibrahim. Welcome, everyone. Hi. I'm, hi. I'm Ibrahim. I'm from Egypt. Uh, and have never been to Italy. Okay. All right. Thank okay. you, Abraham. Uh, next, we have Carl. Hi, Carl. Yes. Hello. Hello, Hina. Mm -hmm. Hello, Hina. Hi. Nice to see you again. Do you want to introduce yourself and tell us if you've ever traveled to Venice or to Italy? Uh, travel. Uh, the last travel mm -hmm. that you have been. Uh, I am preparing the travel for go to the Gambia, the next week. Oh, okay. So, and have you ever been to Venice? Uh, never. In Venice, yes. Ten years ago, I visited the, the Venice. Yes. Oh, that's awesome. I hope you have pictures that you can share or souvenirs. So, if okay. you have if you have pictures or souvenirs that you'd like to share with us from when you visited Venice, then that would be awesome. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much, Carl. Welcome to class. Thank you to you. Uh, next, you have Carolina. Hi guys, I'm Karolina and I'm from Poland 
and I was in Venice uh, five years ago, I think. Pictures, pictures, pull them pictures up. Okay, <laughs> all right, awesome. Thank you, Carolina. Mm -hmm. And lastly, we have Norbert. I am Norbert from Hungary, and I have never been in Italy, but it's my it's on my bucket list. It's on your bucket list, mine as well. Okay, perfect. Thank you, guys. I have to share. I have to share a stereotype that I have about Venice. Okay, I've never been. I watched some movies and I've read some books, and this is what I picture people in Venice talk like. All right. So I think everybody sits on a boat and they like go down the canal. And there's like the person who's like slowly, slowly paddling the boat. Yeah. And the person who is paddling the boat goes like, oh, so let me <laughs> That's my <laughs> that's my opinion of Venice. <laughs> that's all I picture people in Venice they doing. Eat like, yeah. There's like somebody's like there's like and there's people in love and they're like holding each other and they're like, Oh, I love you so much and then there's a person who's like, Oh so let me <laughs> That's all I think of Venice. <laughs> Oh, now dear. you guys, so if I am wrong, then you guys have to tell me why I am wrong, all right? Because I have never been to Venice, but this is what I, this is what I picture it to be like, okay? <laughs> so let's, uh, let's share some uh, interesting facts. Let's learn a little bit about uh, Venice. So who would like to share some, uh, some facts or interesting things about Venice from their visit? I I found some pictures uh, when I went in Venice okay. 20 years ago. Oh, that's 20 years ago? I thought you said 10 years ago. <laughs> it's very young. <laughs> Just when when, You're like, when I, I was very young. <laughs> You're like, I, I don't want you guys to know how old I am, so it was 10 years ago. <laughs> I, I can show with my webcam. With my webcam, it's possible to so perhaps. I don't know. Okay, well... Well, if you show us pictures and we're like, who's that young man? You can be like, that's me, me. <laughs> All right? I know this. There we go. Let, let's check out Carl's pictures. Ooh, can yes. everybody see Carl's, Carl's picture? So that's him. Is that you, yes. Carl? Yes, yes, I am. Wow. Uh, and, yes. and that's in uh, Venice. Another here. Uh, oh, that's, that's what it is. This, so oh. was this person singing, oh, so let me oh. So let me yes. <laughs> That's uh, and I love how Carl has like actual pictures, like he has printed pictures in a in an album. That's awesome. I hardly ever see that. It's for my album, for photography albums. That's awesome. <laughs> Have uh, you? Yeah. Would you Would you go back, Carl, if you had the opportunity to? Uh, yes, I will. I will back uh, to Venice. It's very, 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 pola uh, very po uh, nice, mm -hmm. um, and it's a good place to visit. Yes, I recommend to visit. Okay. But, uh, at least uh, one times uh, in life, no? Time at least once. Life. At least once. At least once. once, in at, life. Least once at least uh, one time. Yes. Yeah. Is definitely. it expensive or? It, it's expensive. Yes. Mm -hmm. How very, much? How much, for example, for the for to stay one day in the hotel, for example? A hotel. Mm -hmm. a, a hotel. A hotel, for example, in in Venezia, if 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 is very near of the canals or the of the river, mm -hmm. is very expensive. You have to to stay uh, in the out of the Venezia. And go uh, to visit Venice uh, from from twenty, for example, twenty-five or twenty kilometers mm -hmm. from Venice, because in in Venezia there are uh, a little or very uh, very short uh, uh, hotels and very very expensive. Perhaps by by night is possible. Uh, now you have to pay uh, forty in four four hundred or fifty hundred uh, by by five hundred by night by night yes. four hundred or five hundred yes oh, wow oh that oh is expensive yeah yes. that's and, expensive and in general the the restaurants and and the taverns is po is very expensive for example one coffee is possible in San Marcos in San Marcos uh, place is possible pay ten ten euros. Wow. 10 euros are 10, are 20, are 20 23 euros. It's very 10, expensive. 
Ten euros for a coffee? That's like yes, 50, yes, yes. That's like fifteen dollars. I can eat yes. food for the whole day in that money. Yeah. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. crazy. Thank you so much for sharing your pictures with us, yes. uh, uh, Carl. It was really, really nice. I'd I love okay. to hear more stories from uh, from you uh, as we go on in the class. Right? Okay. This should this should give everybody incentive to pull up their pictures. I'm sure you guys have digital pictures. Carl pulled up his physical old pictures so you guys should be able to show us digital pictures okay, okay. Um, thank you so much thank Carl you. so um, Venice is actually it's, it's a city in northeastern Italy and it's it's not on mainland it's not part of mainland Italy it's a group of 118 small islands okay so they're small islands and these all islands are separated by canals and they're linked by bridges. Okay, what's a canal? A canal. Yes. Mm -hmm. A canal. So, who can yes. tell me what a canal is? Like a river. Yeah, it's a very, very narrow, flowing body of water, and it's usually the thing about canals is that it's usually man-made. Okay, so canals are like man-made rivers. So they're very, very narrow, flowing bodies of water. So Venice is uh, separated by these canals, and it's linked together by bridges. And the main mode of transportation is is through water. People don't ne necessarily drive in Venice, um, and it is located uh, in a lagoon. Has anybody heard of that word before? Lagoon. So the islands, the 118 islands that make up Venice, they are located in a lagoon. Has anybody know? Does anybody know what a lagoon? It's the is Venetian that? lagoon. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, is a lake? No. Is similar a lake? No. It's similar to a lake. Mm -hmm. al, al, agaba or lacuna. Okay. It's, it's, it's actually very, very similar to a lake. That's a good way of describing it. So a lagoon is a shallow, shallow body of water. So the water is not very deep. So the mm. water is like, it's ah. very shallow. It's very, it's, you can't go too far down. And a lagoon is separated from the ocean by a very, very thin piece of land. Okay. Uh, Has anybody heard of the Great Barrier Reef? Great Barrier Reef. Anybody know where that is? Great Barrier Reef. Okay. Great okay. Barrier Reef is the biggest is the biggest reef in in the uh, world. It is in Australia. Okay. Yes, so yes. so a reef is basically a very a very thin piece a piece of land, and a lagoon is a lake. And the only reason it's separated from the ocean is because there's a very thin piece of land between the lagoon and the ocean. So Venice is in a lagoon. So Venice is in like this completely separated body of water. It's not part of mainland Italy. And it's 118 such small islands that are in a lagoon. And they're all connected by bridges. And they're separated by canals. Okay? All right. So that's, that's a, little, a little history about Venice. Um, I said the, the population, who knows what the population of Venice is? Roundabout. Do you guys think it's... About two millions or... Yeah, two millions. It's, it's about, it's about 300,000. Okay? So this number, so it's about 300,000. Small population. So it's a small population. Venice is not a metropolitan city. Metropolitan city. Okay? Metropolitan yeah. cities are usually with huge... What were you saying, Norbert? Sorry? Is it with uh, tourists or without okay. tourists? That, that's the population of Venice. Tourists are coming and going. That's, that's, okay. It's not with tourists, yeah. So the population of Venice is a little under 300,000 people. Um, those are the residents, residents, so people who live in Venice. Um, and it's not a metropolitan city, so you're not going to see skyscrapers. You're not going to see, like, buildings or a lot of, like, offices it's or a cars. historical city. Exactly. It's a historical city. All right. It's not. It's not a metropolitan city, but it's one of the most visited cities, uh, frequented by tourists in the world. Okay. Um, what else? Let's see. Let's. Okay. Let me let me pull up let me pull up the uh, the map so you guys can see where Venice is located. Okay. Let me let me show you guys. Let me. I have in my screen. Mm, oh yeah. Okay, so let me just, so there we go. So this is Italy. Let me, let me just see. So this is Italy, right? This is Sicily. Venice is right up here. 
Okay, so you guys see this? You guys see this lagoon? So this is a, it's a lake or a body of water and it is separated from the ocean by a very, sorry, by a very, very thin piece of land. So right over here. So this, this water inside, inside of this piece of land, this is a lagoon. And Venice is located in this lagoon. Yes. Okay? So for all those who don't know, this is where Venice is located. I'll be honest, for the longest time, I thought Venice was somewhere like down here, like next to Sicily. But it's, it's actually not. Venice is, is pretty, pretty high up in, uh, in, northern, in northern Italy. Sorry, somebody, somebody took a picture of something. I don't know what that was. <laughs> like, what, what's going on? Whoa. One photo. Perfect. Okay. Norway for took a picture. Okay. Yeah, paparazzi. For, for, for paparazzi. Paparazzi. For the paparazzi. Yeah. <laughs> Norway. Whoa. Stop. It's a new feature. <laughs> it's a new, it is a new feature. There's like so many new features that uh, Verbling has rolled out now. And this picture thing is one of them. Okay. All right. So let's hear uh, about from people who have been to Venice and let's hear their stories and let's see some of their pictures. So we have uh, Carolina. Carolina, do you have any pictures you'd like to share with us? Well, I don't have on my laptop and so I, I have a lot of pictures but just not here. Okay. So uh, that's okay. So why don't you tell us so why what was the reason for your for your trip to, to Venice? Well, it was my trip from my school. It was like trip eight days, I think, mm -hmm. and it was like every day uh, we were in a, a other city. So one day it was in Venice. I think two or three days it was in Rome, mm -hmm. Vatican or Florence or or Ghetto. Mm -hmm. And so actually in Venice I was just one afternoon. So you did okay. So you did very, very, very briefly. So do you have any? Did you buy any souvenirs or anything that was like particular that that stands out in your mind from your visit there? Yes, I do. I even can bring from other room a mask to show off. Yes, we want to see the mask. So we'll wait for okay. you. Uh, we'll okay. we'll get other people to talk while you while you while you grab the mask. Okay. Okay. So give me a void. That that's okay. All right. So what what are some what are some things that you guys know or you've heard about Venice? What what are some what are some like uh, nicknames for Venice? Nicknames. nicknames, yeah. Nicknames are like another way of knowing of calling the city. For example, um, New York is the city that never sleeps. So that's a nickname for New York, the city that never sleeps. What are some nicknames for Venice? <laughs> Okay. The swimming city. <laughs> the the so no, it's actually uh, it's the city. Floating yes. city. The city of canals. The city of canals is another is one way of uh, of uh, referring to Venice. The and city of water. The city of water. Um, I'm not too sure if that's a if that's an official name, but I know it's known as the city of canals. Um, and do you guys know that it is a world heritage site? World Heritage Site. Let me write that down. World yeah, yeah. Heritage Site. Okay. What is a World Heritage Site? Site that is being protected by the UN or Canada. Yeah. Ooh. Very, oh, sorry, we have we have Carolina. Everybody, everybody, click on Carolina's picture. Yes. Oh, <laughs> Carolina, that is beautiful. That is really Bye. really nice. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. I love these features. Oh my goodness. I love it. There's like paparazzi on verbling everywhere. That's really, really nice. And it's so well preserved. Look it looks like you took a lot of uh, a lot of care of it. Yes, yes, of course. It's in my place in our living room. Oh, that's really, really nice. So would you would you want to go back to, to Venice if you had the opportunity to? Of course, of course. Yeah. I would like maybe next year, I think. Okay. Yeah. And um, what was I, what was I going to say? Is there anything that you feel that you didn't see that you'd like to get get the opportunity to see next time that you go? Uh, well, I mean, I I didn't see so much things because it was like maybe five hours, so I saw only the main things. So I'm I'm pretty sure there is a lot of things which I could see more. So so yeah, the main things. What are those? 
I mean, it's a uh, Saint Mark uh, Square. Okay. Saint and, Mark Square. Uh, yep. And um, well, there is characteristic that there is a lot of narrow streets, so mm -hmm. it's really uh, easy to lose there, as yeah. I did. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Awesome. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. And I, that's a beautiful mask. It's a, it's a Venetian mask. I don't know if you guys know, those, those are very, very popular. So people, when they visit Venice or they visit Italy, they definitely take a, they definitely the, want to buy. Yeah. Sorry? Ever a festival in uh, February? Yeah, they yeah. have a carnival, right? They carnival, have a, yeah. Yeah, they have a carnival in, um, in Venice. And I guess you feel like you're in the night in the 1800s because people are wearing like big dresses and men are dressed like Mr. Darcy from like what Pride and Prejudice. So they, everybody they are they are dressed like Mozart. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It's amazing. Yeah. yeah. Um, so does anybody know who the architect of Venice was or is? Mm. Who knows? No. It was Da Vinci. Oh, da Vinci. Ah, okay. Yeah, Da Vinci. Da Vinci. So Venice is built on the blueprint. Blueprint. What's a blueprint? Um, I knew it. Uh, what's it? Okay, a blueprint is a detailed uh, architectural layout. All right. So, for example, when you design a building. You don't just design a building like, oh, I feel like putting a window here and this should be at this elevation. You don't do that. You have to plan everything on a blueprint. So the piece of paper is usually huge pieces of paper and they have a lot of math and numbers on them. So like, uh, how do you build a building? What do you need to do? All those are called blueprints. And then uh, it's another way of saying layout, okay? So the layout of a room or a building can be a blueprint. So Venice was designed based on Da Vinci's blueprints. Okay, so he designed the intricate structure of canals and bridges, and then the city was built based off of his design. Okay, so it's a, yeah, it's an original project. More it's or an exact. It's an original project, and in essence, if you were to call Venice a piece of art, you would not be wrong. Like the entire city is art. And it was laid out by Da Vinci. It was just it was just built by someone else. But he's the one who laid out the foundation, the foundation. Okay, so the building blocks. Okay, uh, I'd actually like to share a picture of one of our students who cannot be in class right now. But this is Blanca. She is in uh, she's in the chat right now. And this is her picture from uh, when she visited Venice. Right. Uh, does anybody know wow. where she? Does anybody know where yes. she is? Yes, very well. Saint Mark Square. Saint Mark Square. Saint Mark right? Square. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Carl, is, uh, so what's the? Anybody know what the structure behind her is called? I, I, I'm not. I'm not too familiar. I, I haven't been to. I haven't been to to Venice, but this is Saint Mark Square, and that's Blanca's yes, picture. Yes, Saint Mark Square. is very, very, very nice square, and in some cases, it's a uh, floating. Uh, in the winter or in autumn, in some cases, is flower. It's a uh, flowing with a uh, water uh, uh, ten centimeters of water in the square. Oh, so okay. the city uh, it was with the tide. Who knows what the tide is? Tide. Yes. Uh huh. The tides. Tide. Yes. Okay. And and this uh, and this case in this in this uh, bar or, or restaurant, the mm -hmm. the coffee is very very expensive. Very, very, that's why you see nobody sitting there. There's like four yes. old people. Yes, yes. <laughs> One coffee. I, imagine, imagine you take uh, some special things. Uh, for example, uh, I don't know. One uh, ju juice, uh, orange juice, or other thing special. Orange juice, juice. Or, uh, orange juice. Mm -hmm. for, uh, orange juice. For example, it's possible twenty or twenty-five uh, euros. <gasps> no. Yes. So, oh my gosh. Oh my yeah. goodness. How did you afford to travel there? <laughs> yes, the, co the coffee perhaps is the cheaper things that you you can ask in the these terrace. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> <Just> be careful. <laughs> so so what I so you're saying that you nobody actually stays in Venice. You stay in the city that is close to Venice, but Venice is like a day trip. Do you guys know what a day trip is? 
Yeah. 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 So Venice is like a day trip. You would not go there to stay there. You would go there in the day, you visit, you see all the attractions, and then you come home to your affordable hotel. <laughs> and then you stay there. So Blanca actually stayed, she stayed in Venice. Wow, that I hope you didn't stay for very long because from what we are hearing, it's really, really expensive, like hotels. Okay? So there, that's so that's one of our students, Blanca. She sent me this picture yesterday because she said she couldn't uh, she couldn't join class. So I thought I told her I'd, I'd share her picture on her behalf. Okay. Yes. All right. Uh, who else? We have some other new students who joined us. Uh, Adelina. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, this is my second class uh, in this page, mm -hmm. and uh, they. Uh, it helps me to learn too much. It's very useful to that's, me. That's awesome. So it's really nice to have you join us, uh, Adelina. We're actually talking about, we're talking about Venice. Have you been to Venice? No, never. No? Uh, a friend, I saw some pictures he takes and mm -hmm. nothing else. But I'm studying uh, Italian language too. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so, so, so you have like if I've not been, I will go in the future because I speak the language. <laughs> <laughs> totally, totally. That's awesome. So we're talking about Venice, and a couple of students in class have been there, and they are sharing stories from uh, from their travels. And we're just talking about all the different things that you can that you can see in Venice. So you're more than welcome to chime in the conversation uh, if you have any questions, um, and if you want to ask any of the people who have been to Venice. We have in class Carl. And Carolina, they both travel there. The rest of us are are wannabes. We want to go there. We haven't <laughs> been there. <laughs> yeah. we're, we're all hopefuls. We're all like, tell us how beautiful it is so we can go there. <laughs> all right? <laughs> okay. And so, how about David? Sorry, how about, David? how about David? How about David? Yeah, David hasn't David hasn't been there. David has some family there. So I'm telling David that he has family now. He has to go. He has to go visit them. Okay? Yes, I um, will try to go. Yeah. It's uh is it is it expensive getting to Venice? Like how would you get how would you get to the city? What is the closest city that you need to go to in Italy and then travel to Venice? How do you how do you get to Venice? Does anybody? Do you guys know Carl? Uh, for go to the from Spain, for example, to Venice. Yeah, no, like say, like say, how do you? Which is the city that you go to in Italy that takes you to Venice? Like you have to go to Venice on a on a on a boat. I'm assuming, right? On a on a on like you can go by land, right? Ah, oh, whoa! The mm -hmm. the boat of the of the of the um, how do you say it in the canal? Yes. The, so, the, the the boat of the canal is prohibited. It's prohibited because it's the the most expensive that, uh, the uh, thing uh, that you can take uh, in Venice. Uh, uh, for example, uh, for one uh, partner or for or for four people in the boat through the canals, mm -hmm. uh, in the in it's very expensive. For example, can say in this moment I don't know, but it's possible. Uh, 300 or 400 uh, euros or more. Wow, that's or crazy. More. Oh yes. my god. I need to make like thousands of dollars before I can go to Venice, it seems yes. like. One right. old. One old. Wow, that's that's crazy. That's Sir. expensive. Yeah, go ahead, Sorry. Yuri. I have one question, guys. Mm -hmm. uh, is there, is there in uh, Venice something not expensive, really? <laughs> Yeah, what is for, left, for, what is left for than students, 20 guys. <laughs> We can go to Russia. Where is you can... from, Yuri? Where is you from, Yuri? Yuri, where are you? Uh, Yuri is from Russia. From Russia, no? Mm -hmm. uh, if, you, if you think that coffee in Moscow is cheaper, you, you, ha you make uh, a very big mistake, really. <laughs> yes, but I think in Moscow is very expensive too, no? I think yes, I have never, yes, I never yes. been, but it's very expensive. The the hotels and other things, no? Yes, I know. Yeah, well, hotels all... one hundred dollars for hotels and, uh, for example, five hundred uh, dollars. Yeah. 
Yeah, travel um, travel is expensive. Travel is a luxury. Yes. <laughs> Do you know what a luxury is? Like it's not like That's oh, true. I'm going to travel. Yes. Traveling yes. is a luxury. You need to have money, you need to have resources, you need to have time, and traveling is not cheap. So no, if, yeah. if you, unfortunately. you want unfortunately, yeah. yeah unfortunately. Otherwise we'd all be world travelers. Yes. I'd be as <laughs> As as world traveled as anybody yes. else. Yes, you like you like travel in good condition is expensive. Yes, exactly. But if you have a job who per, uh, that. Per, permits you mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, to travel, if because your job uh, is your is paying, is paying for your expenses. Yes, right? uh, mm -hmm. but uh, if you have to travel for work. Mm -hmm. It's not cheap. Uh, yeah. uh, it's yes, not fun. Yes, yes. Yeah, no, but, it's not fun. Mm -hmm. But you can, you can, uh, I don't know uh, what is aprovechar. Approach? No. Approach. Approach. No, no. Approach. Mm -hmm. I don't know what is in in English. Okay. Uh, well, why, don't, why don't you why, why don't you try explaining it? I can I can maybe try to help you. Ah, take 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 okay. a, take advantage of. Take advantage of uh, times when you work, when you travel mm -hmm. uh, by work. Mm -hmm. You can you can take advantage uh, the time or take advantage, or advantage. Take, take advantage exactly. for oh. other things for tourists, for example. Exactly. I I, tra I, I travel I travel uh, uh, around the world uh, by by my work, mm -hmm. and I can time I can time to uh, visit a tourist town. Because, I have time. I have yeah, time. Yeah. Because the object is very strong, and you have to go to the fabric or the or the um, or the university. In my case, in my case, a gig class, mm -hmm. and come back uh, uh, very fast uh, to at home. Oh, okay. All right. To return to home. Yeah, and a lot of people who travel a lot. They end up not going to any of the touristy places because they're like, oh, I everything looks the same. But I don't, I don't think that's true. I've traveled quite extensively in Asia, and every city and every country is different. So traveling yes. really is, it's a luxury. And the only reason I was able to travel is because I had a job. Like I had a job in Singapore that I knew I was making money and I could travel. If I didn't have a job, I don't think I'd be able to I'd be able to travel. It's really it really is like a luxury to travel. Okay? So yes. I actually it's have it but it's worth it. It definitely it's is worth it. it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I have a I have an article from uh Squido and there we're going to read about interesting facts about Venice. So it's it's a very long article. We're not going to read all of it, but we we will learn a couple of really quick and interesting things about Venice. All right? I'll link. Me? Yeah, I'll I'll share this with you. I'm gonna post it in the Verbling chat, and for all those whose Verbling chat is not working, I'm also posting it in Google Chat. Okay. Um, we have Vivian. Hi, Vivian. We're talking about Venice, and a couple of people have been to Venice in our class, so they're sharing stories from their from their travels. All right, um, so let's see. Let's get our Venice, uh, our Venice traveler, Carl. Let's get you to read Enchanting Venice. Can I get you to read these first, this first paragraph? Yes, I. Yeah. Yes, uh, Enchanting Venice. Venice also now as the queen of the Adriatic, la serenissima city mm -hmm. of rights and canals. Bridges, Never... city of bridges. I... Bridges, bridges and canals never fails to fascinate. Arthur Simons, a British poet, once said, a realist in Venice will become a romantic by mere faithfulness to what he saw before him. Perfect. Thank you so much, Carl. So a realist in Venice would become a romantic. So somebody who takes life very, very seriously, he or she will become a romantic. So all they would want to do is go to the canal and sing. What would they want to sing? Oh, oh sole mio. Oh, <laughs> That's all yes. he would want to do. Yes. Right. The, the, dri the driver of the world normally was uh, singing. singing. 
Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yes. Th- that's yes. what they do, right? Yes. All yes. the yes. movies I've seen, they're all yes. just singing, and I'm just yes. like, yes. this is all people do. They sing. Thank you. I'm not crazy. I feel happy knowing that you guys have told me I'm not crazy. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> one question. Yeah. Um, my friend says uh, say that in Venice you uh, smells bad um, because the water. Um, yeah. It smells If, fishy. Ah, it's yeah. Yes. And it, it's, yeah, and it's not good for the romantic uh, for the uh, romantic mm. I, love, no romantic <laughs> I love you, honey. It's a, it's I love you too. Totally. It's really, yes. really, really, really nice. I love you so much. <laughs> I love you. I love you. I love you. Yes. I love you. Yes. This is this is This is changing because uh, this depend of the of the tides. Depend on the tides. Yeah. Yes, depend on the tides. The the smell is very from very hard or pungent. Very, okay. Pungent. 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 Sorry. Pungent. 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 Not pungent. pungent. Yeah. Pungent. Okay. Pungent. pungent is when something sm- like when something smells really strong. So, for example, if you go to Venice and it smells very strongly of fish. Or oil, or whatever. If the water is dirty, then that then you describe that smell as being pungent. Okay, pungent, pungent is a very strong, uh, usually a bad smell. Is pungent. Okay, mm-hmm. and so Carl has mentioned that because of the tide. Okay, what do you guys think? What does the tide do? Who knows what a tide is? It's the move of the sea. Movement of water. Yeah. So water moves up and down. So if you have a if you have a sea. Uh, then the water level is not is not stationary. It's not the same. The water level changes. And why does it change? Because of the yeah, change of the uh, night and the and the light, yeah, and the temperature. The exactly. Gravity also. The gravity has very big. Yeah, it's basically because of the, gravity the, gra- of the moon. Yeah, the gravity of the moon. Exactly. So you have uh, the gravity of the moon and the gravity of the Earth. They're interacting. Um, and it forces the water to move up and down. So Venice, because it's in a lagoon, it feels the effects of tides. Okay, to feel, to feel the effect. It means to be affected by something. All right. So Venice feels the effects of the tides. So depending on if the water level is high, if the water level is low, uh, Venice sometimes does flood as well. Okay, Venice does flood. Stop making me go to the X Factor, okay? I'd be booted from like, oh my God, has anybody heard her talk? No, no. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> All right. Um, I can send SMS for support to you. Why not? <laughs> Maybe X Factor in like Russia. Yeah, totally. <laughs> um, so, so, uh, and Venice. Sometimes it it it's sinking. It's sinking. Who knows? Who knows what sinking means? Sinking. Going down the water or going, dive, yeah. diving? Exactly. Diving. <laughs> diving is when you will, willingly go down. So it's not willingly going down. Yeah. It's sinking. It doesn't want to go down. All right. Um, so yeah, uh, one of the reasons that uh, Venice some appears to be sinking sometimes is because of a high tide. High tide. High tide versus low tide. So high tide is when the water uh, level is higher than right normal. Down. Yeah. So, say the water level is here. When the water level is higher than normal, it's a high tide. When it's lower than normal, it's a low tide. Okay. Um, also, global warming. People seem to uh, think that because the because the glaciers and the poles are melting, there's more water in the ocean. And because Venice is already uh, like on water level at, at sea level, it's it's sinking because the water levels are rising. Okay. So say Venice, it's a very, very real threat that Venice actually is going to sink. Maybe not like right now, but in the future. Okay, so people, the architects are kind of working to reclaim more land so it doesn't uh, sink. I think it it is a problem for Venice because they had um, built uh, another floor and uh, higher and higher. And higher, and yeah. <laughs> that that building is sinking. Forget it. Just keep building on top of it. <laughs> so yeah, I mean yeah, the only way to go up is up, right? So, um, but the thing is that the foundation, the foundation of the buildings is are not are not that strong. So even if you build it higher and higher, if the foundation of the building is not strong, it'll still collapse. Okay, collapse. So it'll still break and it'll fall. Okay. 
No, so let's, thank you. Yeah. So Venice is enchanting. This who who can explain to me what enchanting means? Um, enchanting is another word for singing, maybe. Okay, enchanting is another uh, word for singing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, enchanting is having the ability to charm. Okay, so the whole concept that if you go to Venice, then you'll become a romantic. That's because Venice is a charming city, charming, romantic. Okay, uh, and and enchanting. Enchanting is just something that that grabs your interest. Okay. Okay. Foundation. Okay. Vivian is asking what a foundation is. Okay. What What do you guys? What's a foundation, guys? Foundation. foundation. Yeah. So the foundation of the city. Mm -hmm. It a foundation is necessary to make a building. Mm -hmm. To uh, it is important. Um, so it could not be f fall down or so easily. If yeah. So the base. The of exactly. Yeah, the base of the structure. The bearing. Yeah. The bearing. Uh, the bearing structure. Yeah. So yeah, so the foundation is the base of a structure. So like the it's base like, of. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. It's like the bones, uh, for of the of the building. It's like sure. It's like the bones of the building. A uh, foundation is basically something that you build more things on. Okay, so you have to have a strong base, a strong a strong foundation or strong bones. Sure, and then you can build on top of that. All right. So some something has to have a strong base. In order to for it to be built further, okay. So that's what that's what foundation is. It's a base. It's a starting point, if you will, starting point. Okay. Enchanted. It could be when someone puts a spell on you. Yeah. It could be like I'm enchanted by your beauty. So I am. I'm. I'm under a spell because of how beautiful you are. All right. So enchanting. Uh, there's a movie as well, right? Enchanted. Has anybody mm -hmm. seen it? Enchanted. I don't know. With the. Um... It's a cartoon. It's a cartoon. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, it's a cartoon. Okay. <laughs> the movie w uh, was made by uh, Nicole Kidman. No, um, I I haven't watched it, but I know it's a it's a Disney or a Pixar movie. Anyways, it's Enchanted. So yeah, Enchanting, Enchanting, yes. Enchanting, and Enchanted. Um, it can one, one mean pers one person is very very nice. Uh, or is a how do you say? Encantada is in Spanish, but I don't know. Totalmente. Yes. <laughs> no? <laughs> no, no, no Spanish. I can re I can find the the, the I can find. Yeah, I, I can, can find. find. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, if you wanna if you wanna look for the word and you can you can uh, let us know once you found it, alright? So let's uh, let's actually continue uh, reading wheat. this, this wheat. One one person wheat? is a as a wit. Uh, in some cases, wit. 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 Uh, I have no idea. Well, it's que in some in some cases uh, in Spanish the people say when one person is very nice but is uh, some special. Uh, mm -hmm. In some cases, uh, and is is uh, how do you say enchanting? Oh, witch. With oh, a witch. Witch. Uh, witch. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, a witch and bewitched. Okay. Witch. Okay, yes. bewitched. All right. Witch is usually witch. witch is usually negative. Witch is like an evil woman. All right. So yes. if you are, if you are bewitched. It, to be bewitched. bewitched. Means, yeah. To be bewitched. Uh, okay. To be bewitched. <laughs> yeah, that is what you want. To be bewitched. Yeah. That's a, but a witch on its own is like an is like a negative thing. It's like an evil woman or an evil sorcerer. But to be uh, bewitched, yeah, is to be under a spell or to be enchanted. Yeah, they can mean very yes. they can mean very similar things. Okay, I get what you're saying. All right, mm. thanks so much for that, Carl. Thank you. Too. Okay, let's get Abdullah. Can I get you to read the second the second paragraph here? Yeah, um, from the bustling uh, Rialto Bridge and. Uh, winding Grand Canal to the calm narrow alleys past beautiful palaces and mm -hmm. Ave awe, no, awe inspiring okay. and awe inspiring artwork um, Venice has something to offer for everyone in this lens I have gathered some interesting facts about Venice read on to know more about this fabulous city 
Okay, perfect. Thank you, Abdullah. So this is a really, really long article. For all those who are interested to know more, you guys can go and read. Go ahead and read all the way to the end. But we'll try to read as much as we can in class today. So bustling. What does bustling mean? From the bustling uh, Rialto Bridge. Mm -hmm. uh, bustling. Bustling. Bust, bustling. Is, mm -hmm. is is it a sound? Yeah. Bustling? Bustling is when something is busy and noisy. Busy okay. and noisy. Okay? So the when you have a bustling bridge, you have a lot of people on that bridge and they're all taking pictures and they're all talking and they're all, you know, just walking and eating. That's bustling when something is busy and noisy. Okay? So a sitting but uh, so for example, a city bustling with life. Okay, this is a common expression that we use, a city bustling with life, so a city that is full of life, it's noisy, it's busy, and there's a lot going on. Okay, so it's an expression we commonly use. For example, New York, yeah, New York is a city bustling with life. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, from the bustling Rialto Bridge and winding Grand Canal, winding is when something has lots of uh, turns, twists and turns, okay? So the Grand Canal is not straight, it's turning, it's, it's like, it's not a smooth flowing river, okay? Uh, to the calm, narrow alleys, so this word is calm, you don't, uh, you didn't say it wrong, Abdullah, but I'm just going to say that a lot of people have said it calum, so you don't, you don't pronounce the L that strongly, it's calm, okay? Calm, calm mm -hmm. exactly, to the calm, narrow alleys, past beautiful palaces, and awe-inspiring artwork. Okay, awe-inspiring is when something is beautiful and inspiring at the same time. Okay, like the artwork is so beautiful that I am inspired. Okay, I have turned into a romantic after looking at it. For example. Okay. Uh, um, yeah. what's the meaning of alleys? Alleys, alleys. This word is alleys. Okay, what are alleys? Alleys. Mm -hmm. Kind of streets. Yeah, very, very small and narrow streets are called alleys, okay? So, okay. so for example, if you guys have ever seen, like, uh, murder mysteries or movies, a lot of murders happen in alleyways. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. alleyways. <laughs> yeah, so alleys are usually dark and they're small and, um, you know, like, I'm not saying all alleys are like that, but just to give you an example of what it is, <laughs> it's a it's 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 a small it's a small road off to the side. It's not as mainstream as a road or a boulevard, and it's very narrow and it's very short. It usually connects one block to the other. The space between two buildings, exactly. So if you have yes. two buildings next to each other, the space between them is usually an alleyway. You can either say alleyway or an alley. Both of them mean the same thing. A passage okay? ways. A passage. Know? Yeah, a passage. Passage way. Passage ways. Yeah. yeah, a passage. So it can be a passage. passage from one street to another between two buildings. So the streets. In Spanish. Yeah. So the streets in Venice are very narrow, and they're they're canals and they're alley. They're alleyways. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, so Venice has something to offer for everyone in this lens, so in this album. So this person has taken pictures and he's posted them here as well. Uh, he has gathered some interesting facts about Venice and read on more about this fabulous city. Fabulous, amazing. Mm -hmm. okay? So Venice and its lagoons. We already covered that Venice is located in a lagoon and it's a World Heritage Site. Okay, so let's, le let's read what a World Heritage Site is. Uh, uh, Adelina, can I get you to read this first paragraph? This one uh, right here. Sorry, where? Ah, yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the Venetian Lagoon is an in inlet and Adriatic Sea with a series of sandbars. Series, with a series. Series of sandbars mm -hmm. at Lagoon's entrance, uh, large and sea. Uh, largely. Largely, La, strict, larger, largely restricting, largely restricting <laughs> the access the access to the sea water. It it is a marshy environment that is fed by fed, river, fed by river, fed, fed by river, and yet flushed by salt water from Adriatic. From the Adriatic. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Uh, let's let, we'll read this section and we'll talk about it together. I mean. Can I get you to read the second paragraph? Okay. 
the 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 Venetian, the Venetian lagoon is on. No, no, no. The, the the second the second paragraph. The lagoon remains. Okay, the lagoon remains as one of the richest uh, natural uh, habitats for fish, birds, and plants live, and is uh, and is all also the largest with land in the, in the Mediterranean, Mediterranean, Mediterranean Basin, Mediterranean Basin, Venice, and and it is a la lagoon. It's lagoon. Or, it's lagoon. It's lagoon are clo collectively, collectively discontent designated, uh, designated. Okay. Sorry, um, I mean, there's a lot of noise coming from your microphone, so I'm, I'll get somebody else to finish reading, but thank you so much for reading for us. It, there's a, it's just very noisy where you are. It's hard to hear what you're saying. Uh, David, can I, get you to, can I get you to finish off the paragraph? So Venice and its lagoon are collectively designated. Mm -hmm. One second. Okay. Uh, can you repeat, please? Venice and its lagoon are collectively designated as UNESCO World oh, Heritage yes. Site. Yeah? So the word lagoon has its origin from Venetian language, Laguna Venita, to indicate an enclosed shallow bay of salt water. The picture you see here is an aerial view of central Venice and the narrow um, Guideca Island. How do, you, how do you guys say that? Guideca? I'm assuming that's how you say it, Gudeca Island. So this is an aerial view of Venice right here. What's an aerial view? A picture taken uh, from the, the earth uh, by... Uh, from, from the uh, top, from the top. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, from oh, yeah. The top. yeah. A picture taken from above or a picture taken from the sky uh, and it's looking down on something is an aerial view. Okay? It has aerial view. By a satellite. Yes. By, by satellite. By, by satellite. Helicopter. By helicopter yeah. or by satellite, yeah, <laughs> by exactly. Satellite. By satellite Aria, or by aerial helicopter. view. Aerial, aerial view. view, aerial view, aerial view. Yeah. So this is an aerial view of central of central Venice. Okay. So the Venetian lagoon is an inland of a uh, an inlet of Adriatic Sea. An inlet. Again, it's a body of water separated from a bigger body of water. So this is a lagoon, um, and it's separated from the ocean by a little piece of land. Okay, so it's an inlet, in, okay? And uh, with a series of sandbars at the lagoon's entrance, largely restricting the access to seawater. So this is how um, the seawater doesn't get into uh, the Venetian lagoon. So there are series of sandbars, okay? So there, this, they have purposely barred off uh, the Venetian lagoon from the rest of the sea, okay? It's a marshy environment. Marsh? is when you have uh, lots of low-lying trees and plantation, okay? So that's a, it's called a marshy environment. So this is, it's called, the proper name is a marsh, okay? So this is what a marsh looks like, okay? So you have water with very, like, small plants and trees like this. This is a marsh. So the Venetian Lagoon's natural environment is marshy. It looks like this, okay? Uh, mm -hmm. And it is fed by river. So there's a river that flows water in and out of it. Okay? The lagoon remains one of the richest natural habitats for fish, habitats, so environments, uh, for fish, birds, and plant life, and is also the largest wetland in the, in the Mediterranean basin. So it's one, of the most, it's one of the most unique water bodies of its kind. Okay? And it's known as uh, and it's a, a world heritage site, so it's protected, all right? So you cannot destroy you cannot destroy Venice and all, all that is all that is built around it. Okay, because it's protected by UNESCO and the UN. All right? And we're actually we're actually out of time in this class because it's sure. after the hour. Yeah, go ahead, Norbert. You have a question? Share something very quickly. Yeah, yeah. Norbert uh, has a Norbert has a picture he wants to share. Go ahead. Yes. Uh, it's called uh, Giat Horn and uh, this is a city in Netherlands. In the Netherlands. Okay. Netherlands, yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's it's similar than uh, than that uh, Venice. Sim similar to Venice. Yes. Similar to Venice. Beautiful. That's mm -hmm. awesome. Thank you so much for sharing this, Norbert. I actually I didn't know that. I'm gonna check it out. The Netherlands are also uh, is a country that is heavily reclaimed from the sea. Oh. 
So it's 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 below sea level at most parts. And okay. there are no roads, so there are no ca cars as well. <laughs> all, all boats, all boats. <laughs> That's awesome. Thanks so much. Thank, thanks so much for sharing, Norbert. I'm gonna check it out. I actually had no idea there was a city like this aside aside from Venice. Um, mm -hmm. But that's actually the end of our class. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining. I hope you guys had fun. Oh, we have we have Carolina. Thank She's you. sharing her mask with us. Thank you so much, Carolina. <laughs> thanks. Oh, and you have Carl, and he's sharing his picture. Oh, and his passport. <gasps> it's a, it's a uh, uh, I don't know who for it's a, for putting around the kit. I don't Somebody, know the Someone take a picture of this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you so much. That's it's so a, it's a <laughs> It's a present uh, from my mother 20 years ago. It's a present from your... Oh, that's so from sweet. Mother, yes. That and is so sweet. It's new. Uh, Ven Ven Venezia. Is that how you Venezia. say it? Yes. Venezia. That's how you say Venice in, in Italian. Thank you so much. Carl, I'm so happy you were here in this <laughs> class with us to share all these beautiful souvenirs. Okay. And thank you. Thank you to everyone who, who joined and shared their stories. Blanca, thank you for sending me your picture. It was really nice uh, sharing that with the class as well. I'm out, everyone. You guys are more than welcome to tell me how you thought uh, this class went. Give me feedback. There's the give feedback to teacher button on Burbling. And let me know which city you want for next week. All right. So I do this series okay. every week where we talk about a new city. Uh, so let me know which city you'd like me to cover for next week, and I'll make sure I schedule a class on that. For now, I'm out. Thanks, everyone. It was really fun talking to you guys. I'll be back in a couple of hours with more classes. Okay? Thank you very much. Thank You're you. welcome. Thank you. Bye.